hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we will see how we can install wordpress in vps so this is the fifth video of the series where we are learning how we can use unmanaged vps to create websites if you have not seen those videos then i strongly recommend to go through those videos i will put the link of the playlist in the description and uh, you can go through the previous videos now in previous videos we have seen how to purchase a vps how to install iis role how to install ssl certificate we created a demo website and pointed a domain name to that particular website today's video we will focus on wordpress installation so before proceeding further don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload new videos to my channel you will get notification now first let's log into the vps so i have already logged into my vps so in case if you are wondering what vps i am using so i will put the link in the description they have very powerful vps plans based on your need you can purchase any one of them so to start further first of all click on this uh, start button and uh, go to server manager from server manager at top you will be able to see option called tools click on that and click on iis manager so in iis manager left hand side just expand this server option and under that you will be able to see a site called uh, sites and under the sites you will be able to see the websites that you have created so we have so far we have created tv shows info and we are going to install wordpress on this particular website only now in order to install wordpress and other necessary thing we'll have to install another software so click on the server name here and uh, at right hand side you will be able to see get new web platform components so just click on it so this will basically open an internet uh, browser and it will go to microsoft uh, website and uh, there we will be able to find this uh, button called install this extension so just click on it and it will download the msi package but uh, we will simply click on run to start the installation process now here just click on i accept terms and license agreement then click on install installation process will take around two to five minutes once the installation process is completed you will be able to see the button called finish just click on it now you can uh, close this browser as well basically what you have to do you will have to close this iis manager and open it once again from the tools and then click on iis manager now from here you will be able to see a new component called web platform installer so just click on this type here mysql and uh, hit enter and uh, we can see here mysql windows 5.5 so just click on that and click on install so the default database admin account for root you have to mention some password so let me just uh, give some password here so make sure you give a strong password so this will be used to connect to the database now click on continue and uh, click on i accept and the installation process will start so mysql installation is completed click on finish repeat the same step to install php just type php here hit enter and go a little bit uh, down here and you will be able to see all the options for php now select the latest php version so in my case it is already installed so i am just skipping this now in the similar way you could have uh, installed wordpress as well so type wordpress and hit enter and you will be able to see the wordpress option work but uh, sometimes this option will not work so in this video we will see how you can uh, use a different method to install wordpress now I will just minimize this and uh, open a web, web browser. In this case, I have Microsoft uh, Edge. 
and at the browser I will type wordpress.org so from here we will download the wordpress files now at the top you will be able to see a button called get wordpress just click on that now click on this option called download and install and then click on download wordpress 5.9 this will basically download all the necessary files which required to install WordPress. So basically it will be a zip file. So go to the download folder here and you will be able to see zip file that you have just downloaded. So second one is the latest. So I will just uh, click on it and I will have to extract it. So I will click on extract all and here i will give the path so just click on browse and now you will have to select the path where you want to install this wordpress so in our case it is a c drive and then init pub then www root and then tv shows info so this is the website where we want to install wordpress so select folder and click on extract so the extraction of wordpress files has been completed now we will be able to see a folder called wordpress inside tv shows info website now go inside this and uh, select all the files and uh, cut it and paste it under tv shows info so once you paste it we need to modify a few things here so first thing what we'll have to do is that uh, you'll have to rename this file called wp-config-sample so just right click on it rename and uh, remove this sample here so it will become wp-config now click on this and uh, open with and whatever text editor you have you can open it so I will just open it with a notepad and we will do some modification into this file so let me just maximize it and the first thing we'll have to do is that configure our database so find a line where you see this option called define DB name and database name here so just replace database name here with uh, my sql so if you have any other database if you have created in this my sql server then you can uh, give that name in my case it is my sql and uh, the username is uh, root and uh, the password here is the same password that we have given while installing the wordpress which is password now db host Keep it as it is localhost because mysql server is in the same vps where we have installed this wordpress now little bit go down and after this or it doesn't matter where you paste this but you'll have to paste another line define fs method direct so this is basically will help you to install the plugins and themes from FTP directory so keep it as it is so from WP config it's the that's the only things we'll have to modify so let me check few and more things if we have to now you can give some authentication key here also so it should be unique in your case so if this is the demo purpose so I'm not uh, modifying anything but uh, in your case if you are going to host uh, this wordpress website to production then you definitely put some unique key here now that is the thing i guess and uh, we will just close it and while closing it make sure you save this option now another thing you have to do here is that uh, you'll have to modify some permissions so right click on the site and click on edit permissions and uh, go to security and in this security click on edit and uh, add and uh, type iusr 
and uh, you check names and click on ok and uh, make sure it has a uh, read execute list folder contained read and write option and uh, click on ok as you can see now it has already permissions are there so i don't have to do it but uh, make sure you do it because if you are not uh, doing this then uh, in wordpress you won't be able to install any plugins or any themes now let's try to open uh, the website so i will go to my local desktop browser and i will type the website name that is uh, tv shows info dot xyz uh, it is still showing the blue dashboard of ias uh, the default site so let me just uh, remove one particular file i believe it is referring to the same so ias start i just let just me delete it and uh, then uh, you know restart this uh, website one more time and then again enter the url and this will take you to the install.php page now here select the language click on continue and uh, you have to give a site name let me just give it uh, the same name that is tv shows info i will give username as uh, admin so this is basically the username that you will be using to log into your uh, wordpress dashboard so confirm weak password and then email email just i will give it as admin at uh, tv shows info dot xyz and uh, then install wordpress and uh, it is successfully completed now you can log in and uh, while login you will have to give the admin and uh, password for the respective user that is admin here and click on login and you will be able to go to the wordpress dashboard which exactly looks like this now if we'll go to plugins and click on add new you will be landed to this particular page if you want to install any plugin just click on installing and it is uh, installed but uh, we need to activate it just click on activate it so this is how the wordpress installation happens so everything you will be able to do it from this dashboard now if you want to go to your site so basically it will be in the default state which will looks like this so all the modification you can do it from the dashboard so that's all for this video hope you got the idea how to install wordpress in your vps from scratch now if you have any questions put your question in comment section and i will try to solve that and once again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload new videos to this series or to the channel you will get a notification thank you again for watching